शुक्लां वरदरं विष्णुं शशिवर्णं चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपात सरस्वती नमस्तेभ्यं वरदे कामूपिणी विद्यारंभं क्या सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुर साक्षात्ब्रह्मा तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओके सो यस्टे we saw about narayanam the audio is already uploaded on youtube i have also shared the link on the group so you can uh, check out anyone in case you missed out yesterday session or you want to uh, note down something you can refer to that also a few people sundareshan ji and sudha ji they have prepared notes uh, that also i have shared on the group so thanks to them you can refer to that so yesterday we completed one topic narayanam today let's see how much we can see so next uh, what we start is gita भगवत गीता पारायण नाउ विथ गीता यूजली जनरली वॉट पीपल डू इज यू बी चैंटेड द संपूर्ण गीता पारायण सो यू डोंट हैव टू डिवाइड इट अमंगस्ट डेज ऑल्सो यूजली इट इज स्टार्ट चैंटेड टूगेदर नाउ गीता इफ यू सी इन ऑल इट इज अबाउट एटीन चैप्टर्स सो इफ यू इवन सेट एट द स्ट्रेच एंड यू चैन दट विल बी रफली अराउंड टू आवर्स Two hours, one and half to one and half. You can say somewhat between one and half to two hours. Uh, if you chant the Dhyanam, then all the eighteen chapters, then the Mahatmyam, then the Arti. There is also something the Gita Arti. So like this, if you chant total, you can say consider about two hours, right? But apart from that, in case uh, now two hours also sometimes it is not possible. Every time you cannot do it. Then we have a method of doing the Gita Paranam. Again, that is also in the form of a saptah that is seven days you chant all the 18 chapters so i will just uh, tell you how that has to be done you can note down so day 1 now whenever always remember every day now if you can start with dhyanam you chant now gita dhyanam parthaya pratibodhitam bhagavata narayane na swayam it starts with that so every day if possible you can start with dhyanam that day chapters one chapter two chapter whatever it is that day chapters then you chant mahatmya now there are two or three mahatmyas for gita mahatmya uh, for gita so most popular is gita shastram idam punyam i'll share the audios also on the group later uh, but apart from that there are two or three gita mahatmyas one is from the padma purana another is from the varaha purana so that will be quite big so whatever you know you can refer to that those who don't know gita dhyanam gita mahatmya you you can skip it that's okay but at least i will share at least audios on the group so that in case even if you don't know you can at least learn it right you can listen and chant so for gita this is how you follow so you start with dhyanam then that is chapters mahatmyam then you have the gita arti and the gita arti is a combination it is there in hindi and sanskrit both so uh, basically now uh, now from where this arti has been composed in recent times a few people have composed recent in the sense maybe 100 200 years back not that recent but still if you know you can chant it if you don't know to chant anything you can at least listen someone else is chanting someone knows maybe you have the audio or something you can even listen to that that is also fine so this is how so seven days usually you can do the gita parayanam so you start but every day you are supposed to chant the dhyanam that day chapters mahatmyam and arti so i'll just tell you how you can chant it so day 1 day 1 chapters 1 and 2 day 1 चैप्टर्स सेवन एंड एट day 5 chapters 9 10 and 11 that is still vishwarupa darshan 9 10 11 <laughs> <laughs> day 6 day 6 12 and 13 day 6 12 13 and the last day 14 till 18 14 to 18 now this is followed traditionally if you want Now eighteen chapters are there, so you can also seven if you divide roughly around three years. Maybe the one day it will be two, remaining days you can chant three. That is also fine. But this is how that this is a traditional method that is uh, followed. Ah yeah, Sundari. Ah yeah, 
Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So shortcut in the sense. Chanting at the stretch. Yeah. So maybe what you can do is like I uh, told you for even Narayanam. Maybe two Ekadashis you can divide. So nine nine chapters. That is one way which is easy to do. So nine nine chapters you can uh, divide and do it. Some people do it even that. That is better. Ah, you are on mute. Sundari ji, you have to unmute. that is fine. That is okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, every day. Every day you must say dhyanam. You chant that day's chapters. Then you conclude with the Mahatmyam and Arati. This is how it has to be done. Now, this is, I'll just repeat first and then I'll tell you. Day 1, 1, 2. Day 2, 3, 4. Day 3, 5, 6. Day 4, 7, 8. Day 5, 9, 10, 11. Day 6, 12, 13. Day 7, the remaining chapters, 14 till 18. Now, this is if you want to do a Paranam in 7 days. Now, apart from that, now when should I start? Again, as I told you, it is Gita again is in praise of Lord Vishnu. Now, Gita specifically, if you say it's not in praise of any God, so you can uh, chant, you can say on any day, you can start. Maybe on a Sunday, if you start, again, you can end it in 7 days. So, on a Saturday, you end it. Or you start on a Saturday, you end it on a Sunday. Or maybe you can start on any Ekadashi. So, anything as convenient, you can do. But now, like, uh, Sundari ji said she does it on every Ekadashi. So you all can do it. But now Ekadashi you find it two, two and a half hours. Maybe old people or in general also. If it becomes too much you cannot do. One you do is Ekadashi, Dvadashi, half half you chant. Or maybe in a month you have two Ekadashi. So half half you can do. So nine, nine chapters. Or one more thing which I will suggest is you can also keep it time bound. Say one hour. Every Ekadashi one hour you chant. So how much ever you cover in that time you stop there. Next Ekadashi you continue. So, that way if you chant mostly within three Ekadashis, you complete. It will not take more than that. So, it depends on everyone's capacity how you can chant, you can do this. So, this is uh, how Gita Paranam can be done in seven days. Now, usually when is this done? Especially you do it when you have the uh, maybe important Ekadashis like you have the Guruvayur Ekadashi coming, Vaikuntha Ekadashi coming. So, maybe you can start it one week prior. See, I'm just giving you some suggestions like or maybe Janmashtam that is there. So, Janmashtami, now all these PDFs, whatever I have, I will share. You can search on Google. Sanskrit documents is a very good site. Stotra Nidhi is a good site. So you can just check, you will get it easily. Yeah. So Gita is quite common. You should be able to get it easily. Yeah. So uh, maybe some important occasion like it is Janmashtami or Ekadashi. So whenever some occasion comes, we should end it on that day or even Ram Navmi for that matter. So, in the last day, so seven days prior to that, if Janmashtami is say next week, next today is Wednesday. So, next Wednesday or so is Janmashtami. You can start maybe from tomorrow. So, on the seventh day, we'll follow on Janmashtami. Like that. If there is an uh, Vaikuntha Ekadashi or so, you end it on Vaikuntha Ekadashi. So, the ending can be made on an auspicious occasion. It can be may, say an Ekadashi, say Janmashtami or maybe your own Janmanakshatram or something like that or even Deepavali or even Navaratri period also few people chant the Gita. So, such things are done. So, when you do this Paranam, either you do it randomly whenever you feel like doing or something like this. You want to maybe end it on some auspicious occasion, you can calculate 7 days prior to that and do this. Now, this is applicable for all uh, Paranams that we do. In case something you cannot, you break or so in between, uh, then you can, wherever you stop, say 2 days you could do, next 2 days you could not do due to some emergency or so. Whenever you start again, you, you can continue from the place where you stopped, okay. No, for Gita, as far as I know, of course, there are few people who say a few, these are few important shlokas or so. But no, Gita is something which is, if you are reading it, you have to read it fully. It's, there is nothing like <laughs> something important or so. All the 18 chapters are important. Yes, few chapters are commonly chanted like the 12th and the 15th chapter or the 9th chapter, 10th, 11th and so on. So, apart from that, usually you don't have something like mini Gita or so. Together only you have to chant all the chapters. Okay, so this is for Gita. Now, Whenever you chant Gita, like Narayanam, you have a few shlokas and stotras which you can chant. Like the Vishnu Sasarnama or Krishna Ashtakam, Balam Kundashtakam, anything in praise of Lord Vishnu or Krishna. Now this is optional. 
but during those seven days now why such things are done is during those seven days if you have taken a sankalpa for paranam it's like those seven days i just pray to lord vishnu so anything that you know in praise of lord vishnu it can be anything even in praise of lord rama rama is also an avatar of vishnu so whatever you know it can be even normal prayers that we chant so in ram navami you chant ram ashtakam or maybe ram raksha stotram some people know vishnu sasanam is quite common so maybe at that time also you can take now geeta is something you can chant any time so you chant in the morning or in the evening now when i say any time it means in the morning or in the evening after you light the lamp now always note all these parayanams should as far as possible not be done beyond 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the morning that is maybe i have my breakfast and then you do as far as possible you should not do that but yes if there are like patients you have with diabetes or something like that you have to have your breakfast then it is okay otherwise it is advisable that you i'll have all my food and everything i'll finish everything then i'll do so that's the reason it is said you take a bath in the morning immediately you finish your paranam then you start with your daily groups but in case that is not possible no at 12 o'clock 1 o'clock there are some people who do that that is not the ideal time to start any paranam or maybe late in the evening 7 or 8 maximum not more than that so 8 is also like very late i am saying the starting time so by 8 o'clock you should try to conclude i am working what should i do i return back late then it is fine still you can consider but nothing beyond 10 o'clock or something so it is fine you skip it for that day you do it the next day morning so therefore there are certain things like we don't eat something very late in the night right or we don't do something maybe in the afternoon time is quite dull or maybe late in the night we don't take a break similar is for parayanam also there are certain rules which we have to follow so these are all of course you can take it as per convenience as per convenience but then it should not be done too much like an you know, untimely and things like that i want to do the paranam that doesn't mean that we don't follow rules so therefore of course you can adjust it a bit but not very untimely yeah so these are certain things now for all the 18 chapters there are a few nevidyams which we do now this is something some people do it some people don't do it whatever i know i'm just sharing with all of you okay now whenever you start chanting the geeta after the dhyana shloka you can also chant a few mantras like the dwadasha akshara mantra that is Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 16 times. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 16 times. This can also be done for Narayana Paranam too. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 16 times and Om Namo Narayanaaya 16 times. So both 16 16 times. So something in praise of Lord Vishnu so we just chant. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 16 times. Om Namo Narayanaaya 16 times. This is done before you start the paranam. So maybe prior to the dhyanam or after dhyanam that is okay. you change the order little here and there that is fine next a few stotras again like narayanam you can also chant narayana kavacham vishnu sahasranam i told you anything in praise of lord vishnu so here also when you do the geeta paranam if possible you can keep an idol of krishna down you can offer flowers same the process like narayanam you keep the book there for the book also we have to offer flowers so for those 7 days if you can keep the vigraha and the book down itself at the proper area if it, it, it will be safe then fine otherwise you can just keep it away just on the first day and the last day maybe you keep the idol also but every day always remember every day if you cannot keep the book at the same place say it's a kitchen area or so you don't have proper space there it is fine you keep it back in the cupboard but next day morning when you remove it from the shelf ensure that again you offer fresh flowers so the book also we must always worship when you do a paranam remember this okay so then as usual you chant the paranam so first you keep the idol and everything then you do your the puja puja is nothing but you just offer a flowers and then you start with your paranam the actual paranam you start with that and when you start the paranam then you sit in the and now now there was one question which a few of you asked where should i do the paranam as far as possible you have to do it in the puja area so be it your kitchen or wherever it is but in case that is not possible then you can sit in the maybe hall or wherever it is possible but remember Yes, yes, always. No, not on the floor. You have to keep a mat under. Now there are old people. Hmm. East, mostly it should be east west. But uh, it depends on the. Now if it is your puja area, you have to face the Lord and sit. Now if you are sitting in some other room also, then east west. Always it should be east west. Now this all such directions that are there, you can take it little. You can say as far as as convenient because. now all our houses are there the structure might be, might be different right 
so very like we need not get into that too much hmm Yeah, so that is fine. If it is there that way, it is okay. But now it depends on everyone's house structure also. How it is. So in case, east, south, south, south. I didn't tell south. It should be east west. You should tell. You should face the east and sit. Always it should be east. Okay. Now that's what I said. Now if you are sitting in a place, it is your puja area. You face the idol. You give the idol in front. You sit there. But if you are sitting in some other room, say the hall or somewhere like that, it should be as far as possible sit in an east-west direction. So you face the east. That is sun rises in the east, we face the sun and sit. So you sit that way. But now sometimes what happens is maybe now we might not stay in our own house. Now there might be maybe someone, youngsters or so you stay in a hostel or maybe we say stay in a rented house. Or sometimes you are outside, you don't know where you are. Maybe you go to a temple or so and you are chanting. So there you cannot... Now, of course, we have the compass and everything, maybe in our phones also. But still, such things while you do a parana, we don't remember. Or maybe you go somewhere outside, you cannot go and ask people which is this direction, that direction. So at that time, all these things, what matters is we have to chant. So too much of directions is that you can do as far as possible. But little all this, you can take it with a pinch of salt. Okay, now, so where you sit, obviously, whenever you should not sit on the floor, you keep a mat, you sit on that or anything that you have. The people who cannot sit down, you can sit on a chair. So on the chair also, if you can keep a mat and sit, well and good. But you should not, again, you sit in other room. Like if in the kitchen, that is a puja area is not possible. If you sit in the hall or bedroom, wherever you get space, it is okay. As far as possible, you can sit down. For those who cannot sit down, you sit on a chair. You should not sit on a bed or a sofa also. As far as possible, it should be avoided. You can sit on a chair. So a normal chair that we have, plastic chair or something, you can sit on that. On that, if possible, you keep the mat. That is not fine. You just sit on a plastic chair. It is okay. So, for those who cannot sit down, this is an option. Those who can sit down as far as possible. Now, whenever you do some chanting or so, it's like a surrender, right? So, it's I sit on the bed and I'm chanting something. It doesn't look good. So, therefore, bed should always be avoided. You sit on the floor. If you cannot sit, you take a plastic chair or something or a normal chair. And you sit and you can do it. No problem. Now, for all the 18 chapters, there are certain nevidyams. I will just tell you that you can make a note. So, you start with the Paranam. As usual, once you complete, you show the nevidyam for that day, for that chapter. And then, you do the Dhupam, Deepam and you conclude. Uh, now, this is one method that I told you for 7 days, Paranam. Now, for each chapter, you have some nevidyam that is there. So, again, as I told you, if one day you chant two chapters, both the nevidyams I cannot prepare. You can prepare any one, no problem. Now, some people also have a habit of chanting one chapter one day. That is, today I chant one, tomorrow two and so on. After 18 gets over, they'll complete the Paranam or lifelong again they start from the from chapter one. So, that is also fine. You can do as convenient. Some have a habit of chanting maybe a few shlokas. For the Gita, you can, but when is this chanted? Every day I chant about five shlokas. If you don't do it as a Paranam, every day it's just a practice of chanting five or ten shlokas. Then you can follow this method. Every day I chant five shlokas. But as a, if you are taking a sankalpa, okay, for the next so many days I am doing a paranam, then you should not chant anything in shlokas. It should be only chapter wise. But every day, maybe it's a part of your daily prayers that you are chanting the Gita every day. Every day it's not possible for me to chant one chapter. I have a habit of chanting ten shlokas. That is fine. That is just normal chanting that we do. It's not a proper paranam. But when you do a paranam, always remember you should not stop in the middle. You should complete one chapter. Okay, note down the Nevidyams. So, for chapter number 1, it is Panjamritam. Panjamritam or Trimaduram, as I told you yesterday. That is nothing but using uh, bananas, jaggery, honey. So, Trimaduram. Trimaduram or Panjamritam. Trimaduram or Panjamritam. Chapter 2 is Kheer. Using milk, milk Kheer, Palpaisam. Chapter 2, Palpaisam. Chapter 2, Palpaisam. Chapter 3 is Appam, Nayapam, sweet dish. Appam is a sweet dish, Nayapam. Chapter 4, now you might ask who has told all this, where is it written? Traditionally, some people have been following it, so that's why it is written. So, you want, you follow it, otherwise you can leave it. Chapter 4, Modak, Kolkata. Modak. Chapter 5. Chapter 5, Vada. You make using Medu Vada. That is 
you have to use urad dal and prepare medu vada what we offer for hanuman the same thing medu vada chapter number 5 chapter 6 we must use dal that is purple dal using dal you prepare anything so uh, if you can prepare some sweet like some people have the practice of making poli puran poli using dal so that is one variety it's a sweet dish but you put dal there so dal you must use in something or if you can prepare chundal something like that that we do for navratri chickpeas and something you use that is fine but some kind of dal has to be used so as far as possible the normal tur dal can be used yellow color dal you use that and prepare some sweet dish if possible that is puran poli i gave you an example so that is best if you cannot do that then anything using dal or some sweet dish of your choice this is chapter 6 chapter 1 tri maduram chapter 2 pal paisam milk kheer chapter 3 nai appa appam sweet chapter 4 modak kolkata chapter 5 medu vada chapter 6 using dal as we say purnam in tamil using that you have to make puran poli but it should not be the normal purnam that we use for kolkata use use the proper dal and you prepare it yeah chapter kadla pad correct yeah uh, sundari ji unmute unmute no i am also on no writing here ah on the next day you should do it on the dwadashi day not ekadashi day <laughs> yeah. rice varieties those are fasting and you are chanting on ekadashi you make it the next day but again for prasadam purpose you can have it but still maybe now i told you a list of uh, things right so out of that maybe rice varieties you can avoid no problem seventh day is any rice variety any rice so seventh chapter when you chant sorry any rice variety so okay can be tamarind rice lemon rice or bisi bele baat anything of your choice bisi bele baat some people make it that is sambar rice any any rice dish of your choice chapter 8 chapter 8 uh, dry fruits nuts so badam kismis whatever is available anything you can keep and butter navanitam chapter 8 that is again fresh now whenever i say butter it has to be fresh butter white color butter homemade butter now all these nevidyams also as far as possible we have to prepare it at home and all you can now some people will say no i cannot offer many many i cannot make it's fine quantity you make only one that is also okay if you cannot make that's also fine but i will buy it from the store let it's not wrong if you do that but when you are doing something you, everything has to be done we are showing bhakti also it should not be something bought from somewhere else also everything should be ham, uh, homemade as far as possible in case you cannot do then you buy it so that should be the last last option yeah okay next chapter 8 i told you dry dry fruits nuts and butter anything chapter 9 chapter 9 you offer a lotus lotus flower to the lord and here you prepare a kheer so usually badam kheer as we call it so that is prepared or any kind of kheer you can prepare so your chapter 9 you offer a lotus flower and badam kheer this is most popular chapter 10 chapter 10 again rice variety lemon rice and coconut rice to be specific lemon rice and coconut rice chapter 10 vibhuti yoga chapter 11 vishwarupa darshana full meals one of the important chapters so rice dal whatever you cook full meals but again it should not have onions and garlic so not a lot of spices and so on and one thing always remember whenever you keep food that is full meals as nevidyam you should never put salt some people have a habit right you put salt in the plate whenever you keep nevidyam we should never put salt there yeah so salt extra salt or so nothing you prepare the food you offer as it is salt as such should never be kept for nevidyam okay later sorry what are you saying Ah, well, preparing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, preparing. Normally, you can prepare. I'm saying separately. Some people ask, right? You want extra salt or so? That should be avoided. So, on a plate or on a leaf, wherever you put extra salt, should be avoided. Ah, well, preparing. Normally, of course, there you have to put salt. Will we eat without salt? We want. So, it's same as you eat, so you offer. But then, extra salt. We should also not ask for extra salt while we eat. So, therefore, you prepare it properly. No, uh, separately, salt should not be put. 
Chapter 9 is Badam Kheer. Kheer using Badam. Okay, Chapter 10, I told you Lemon Rice, Coconut Rice. Chapter 11, Full Meals. Chapter 12, Sweet Pongal, Sweet Rice. So some, uh, some people say Sweet Bhat or Chakra Pongal. Chakra Pongal, Sweet Rice, Kalkan Bhat, whatever you call it. Sweet Rice variety. Sweet Pongal. Chapter 13, Fruits. Any fruits of your choice. So you cut and keep it, you keep it whole, anything. Chapter 13. Chapter 14. Shira. Shira or Kesari. Whatever you call it. Shira or Kesari. Chapter 14. Chapter 15. Purushottama Yoga. You again prepare a rice variety. Most preferably tamarind rice. Now I any rice variety you can prepare, but all the 18 chapters they have just divided. So, lemon rice you prepare two days ago, so next day you can prepare something else. Tamarind rice, chapter 15, 1 5. Chapter 16. 16, uh, you prepare puri and sabji. So, sabji when we say puri bhaji, so the uh, you have to use only this. The chana, some people use that is again not preferred like it is okay even if you make the chana bhaji mostly it is the alu bhaji that is potato you use potato and normal you go to hotels or so we get the puri bhaji right so that has to be offered a very simple meal so puri and bhaji on this day if possible you can also invite a few children just as during navratri times we do right kanya puja kumara puja and so on so that way on that day that's the reason why you prepare puri bhaji and something else also you can offer puri bhaji no 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 onions no onion, only alu, okay. only potato. Now all the nevidyams, they should not have onion, garlic, no. Okay, it should be sattvic. Ah, acha, good, you asked. That masala that we use for puri, maybe outside it will have onions. When you prepare nevidyam, remember no onions. It should have only potato, puri and bhaji. Now, whatever you miss out, I will just tell you towards the end. Yeah, chapter 14 is shira. Chapter 17, panagam. Panagam, sweet water, jaggery water. So, chilled water, put jaggery and soot powder. Panagam, chapter 17. And the last chapter is curd rice. Chapter 18, curd rice and chundal, chundal variety. So, that is chundal is nothing but different pulses, cereals we use and just uh, a small dry sabji kind of a thing. It should be dry, not wet. Chundal, I hope everyone knows. Chundal, curd rice and the fruit also some people do offer for chapter 18 that is pomegranate whole pomegranate so this is something for all the 18 chapters in case someone has missed out you ask me towards the end i'll tell you again so this was something for the gita that is gita now all this navidyam again traditionally it is followed you can do as you want now as i told you seven days paranam so you'll have two or three chapters on one day or the last four days you have 14 to 18 right so five chapters so, all the fine avidyams can I prepare? Any one. Whatever is easy for you, that is fine. Now, usually curd rice or something, most of us, we might have at our houses. Or panagam is quite easy to prepare. So, maybe on such days, as convenient for you, you can decide and prepare. Again, navidyams should not go waste. So, prepare as we consume. And uh, secondly, the quantity also you can decide as people will eat and so on. So, that has to be there. It should not be kept for days together. Maximum next day. At the same time, you should not waste it. So, we must keep all such things in mind and prepare. Okay. So, with this. Make it at home. Yeah. Make it at home. 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 Make it yeah. Now, all these nevidyams only in places where, chapter 14 is shira, kesari shira. Yeah. Now, only in places in case, curd also is not available, like you cannot make at home, then you offer it from outside. But curd also should be prepared at home only, with curd rice. Curd rice also, some people have a habit of putting salt, you should not do it for nevidyam. Salt is not needed, still some people have a habit. So, don't do that. You just uh, put it in, you should not add salt at all, you just mix rice and curd that's it okay next we start with the next part that is devi mahatma devi mahatma or durga saptashati 
Now, anyone has any doubt, you ask towards the end so that we complete everything and then I'll tell you all your doubts towards the end. Okay, now Devi Mahatmyam. Now, whenever you start Devi Mahatmyam, Durga, Saptashati, Chandi part, whatever you call it. East side of India, you go, it's called Chandi part. North side, it is Durga, Saptashati. South, it is Devi Mahatmyam. So, 700 shlokas, again, in praise of the goddess. This, especially all of you can note it down if you want to do it during Navratri. Those who are aware, those who don't know, you can also listen and do the Paranam, no problem. Now, there might be few things which maybe I myself, I don't know to chant. I have the book and everything, but I have not learned. I don't know to chant. You can listen. That is no problem. There is no problem. So, YouTube is there or some audios. I will also share the audios. So, you can have the book. You can follow. You can simply listen. That is also fine. There is no problem at all. I don't know to chant. So, can I chant? Can I not chant? There is nothing of that sort. You can listen. You can chant. So, rather than not doing anything, we can at least chant. There is no problem in that. Listening is also equal to chanting. Okay, so, it is absolutely fine. Maybe some things we don't know to chant. It is not everything everyone will know. But still you want to do, you can surely do. So, rest everything, the Nevidyam and the ways of maybe listening. Today, two chapters I have to listen. You can follow everything. Instead of chanting, you can listen. No problem. Okay. Now, Devi Mahatmyam will start. Now, Devi Mahatmyam, in all there are 13 chapters. Now, I will tell you the order first, how it has to be chanted. Now, for Devi Mahatmyam, there are few things which we have to chant before Devi Mahatmyam. Few things which we have to chant after. Now, this order can go a bit up and down. I will share the list on a group again. In case there might be people who are not familiar with this at all. Those who know, you write it down. First, we start with Argala Stotra. All these stotras might be there in your own Devi Mahatyam books also. Still, you can just note it down. Argala Stotram first. If people are already chanting Devi Mahatmyam, you know in a particular order, you can follow the same order, no problem. Little, few things as per the place changes, everyone might have their own opinions. Order, little, it goes up and down, it's absolutely fine. You have to chant it every day, that's it. Argala Stotram. Keelaka Stotram. Second is Keelaka Stotram. Keelaka Stotram. <clears throat> Next. Devi Kavacham. Devi Kavacham. Devi Kavacham. Ratri Suktam. There is something called Rigvedoktam. It's from the Rigveda. Rigvedoktam. Ratri Suktam. Argala Stotram. Keelaka Stotram. Devi Kavacham. Rigvedoktam. Ratri Suktam. These four. Yeah. Argala Stotra. Argala. I will share Argala. Yeah. I will share the audio as well as the text on the group. So you can just listen now once. Yeah. I'll, in case you miss out something, you can note it down later. Argala Stotram, Kilaka Stotram, Devi Kavacham, Rigvedoktam, Ratri Suktam. These four we chant usually before the actual Devi Mahatma Paranam starts. After Ratri Suktam, the 13 chapters. So if you are doing it on one, one day, that's one fine day you want to chant all the 13 together. Again, it will not take more than 2 hours. It is same as Gita, 700 shlokas. 2, 2 and a half hours. Then the 13 chapters. After the 13 chapters, Kshama Prarthana, immediately. Now, it is, some books it will be a part of the 13 chapter only. Immediately it will be given. So, you can follow that. Kshama Prarthana. Always remember, some people feel, no, Kshama Prarthana, I'll chant, I won't chant. Remember, whenever you are chanting it, in fact, some people do it even every day. Now, I'll tell you later how you can do it in 7 days or so, 7 days, 3 days. Or during Navratri, how you can do it. But Shama Prarthana, usually people chant it even every day. So, if not every day, at least along with the 13th chapter, you must always chant it. So, don't forget it. Make a note if you want. So, then the 13th chapter is Shama Prarthana. Next, you have Siddhi Kunjika Stotram. Siddhi Kunjika Stotram. Now, this Siddhi Kunjika Stotram also, like the Kshama Prarthana, you can chant it every day. That is, say one day, today I chant one chapter. After that, Kshama Prarthana, Siddhi Kunjika Stotra. So, this is chanted in some ways. Siddhi Kunjika Stotra. Next, Saptashloki Durga. So, Saptashati Durga, 700 verses. Saptashloki Durga, 7 verses. Saptashloki. Saptashloki Durga. Saptashloki Durga. This is also a Stotra. I will share all this text and everything or at least the links on the group so you can refer to that. Yeah. Saptashloki Durga. Next, 
दुर्गा अष्टोतरम सो अष्टोतरम अदयुचांड अष्टोतर स्तोत्रम और अष्टोतर शतनामावली वो तर्कण दुर्गा अष्टोतर स्तोत्रम और अष्टोतर शतनामावली वो तर्कण नेक्स्ट तंत्रोक्तम रात्रि सूक्तम रात्रि सूक्तम इज टू ऋग्वेदोक्तम रात्रि सूक्तम दैट ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन इट इज बिफोर द थर्टीन चैप्टर्स here it is tantroktam ratri sutta now i am telling you the list which has many stotras some people might they might skip a few things also it is fine tantroktam ratri suktam next rigvedoktam devi suktam earlier it was ratri suktam now rigvedoktam ratri devi suktam sorry rigvedoktam devi suktam next you have three rahasyams that are there in praise of lord devi praise of the goddess pradhanikam rahasyam first is pradhanikam rahasyam all this will be there in your durga uh, devi mahatmyam books durga saptashati books it will be there you can check the content pages pradhanika rahasyam vaikritikam rahasyam second is vaikritikam rahasyam those who are new to this you are not able to note down you leave it later when i send you the list and the audio you can listen to that noted down don't worry vaikritikam rahasyam third is murti rahasyam pradhanikam rahasyam vaikritikam rahasyam third is murti rahasyam then durga manasa puja durga manasa puja next durga dwatrimshat namavali the 12 names of durga sorry not well 32 dwatrimshat durga dwatrimshat namavali that's also stotra durga dwatrimshat namavali stotram and the last devi aparadha kshamapana stotram devi aparadha kshamapana stotram this is the order that we follow now in this order it is if you are doing the paranam on one day like especially navratri times how you usually do is Uh, if you want you start in the morning or what you do is you call people in the evening time around 4 or so maybe a group of people can assemble devi mahatmyam durga saptashati ladies gents both can chant some people feel only ladies can chant men cannot chant men also can very much chant there's no problem so 4 o'clock or so roughly if you start maximum by 7 you can finish all this okay and then maybe you prepare some nevidyam now the most popular or the common uh, nevidyam for devi mahatmyam is Uh, as such it doesn't have separate nivedyams you can prepare shira shira kesari most uh, you can say the white color in kesari sometimes we add color right orange yellow and so that should not be done the proper white color shira as it is white color shira and the black chana chundal black chana so on saraswati puja we use that right so that is black chana using that just a dry prasad we prepare and you offer so one sweet dish and one uh, you can say salt they just as the uh, nevidyam times how we do chundal that way you can prepare and shira now this say you call a group of people usually devi mahatmyam is done as group chanting now you can do it all alone also but as a group chanting also if you do very very auspicious and uh, especially during occasions like if there is a marriage also especially marriage of a son in someone's family we you can keep the devi mahatmyam parayanam in your houses why so because a lady a girl is going to come women are considered to be forms of goddess so if you have some daughter in law or your own some woman coming in the family usually the devi mahatme parayanam is kept women also can do if your daughter is getting married also you can do it is very auspicious but in general for children men if a son is getting married you do when this has to be done of course not during the marriage times it will become difficult maybe a few days even if you do a month or any time son's marriage is fixed daughter's marriage is fixed you can do for auspiciousness generally it is done navratri times you do very very auspicious okay now this is how it has followed now devi mahatmyam like narayanam again here you keep an image of the goddess so if you have anything it can be durga lakshmi saraswati any image you keep or sometimes you have the images of all three goddesses and ganesha so like this whatever image you have you can keep it again every day fresh flowers you put for rigvedoktam ratri suktam and rigveda both are different so it can be chanted by both so when i say suktam these are actually stotras it's not uh, different from the suktams that are there in the vedas okay yeah so now whenever here for the goddess when you offer flowers as far as possible we can offer red or white color flowers that is mallipu mallipu jasmine 
or red color hibiscus rose anything so these flowers are offered sometimes even the champa flower yellow color yellow color flower that is also very auspicious for the goddess okay now i will tell you how you can do the parayanam in three days three days parayanam how you do now Devi Mahatmyam, if you see, it is divided into three parts. Just as during Navaratri, we have Durga, Lakshmi, Saraswati. Similarly, Prathamam, Madhyamam and the last, Uttaram. So that way it is divided into three parts. So in three days, if you do the Paranam, day one, chapter one, only one chapter. Day one, chapter one. Day two, day two, two, three, four. Day two, two, three, four. Day 2, 2, 3, 4. And the last day, third day, 5 to 13, all together. So that is because first is for the goddess, especially Kali. Next is for goddess Mahalakshmi. Last is Kali, Mahalakshmi, Saraswati, all together. So 1, day 1, 2, 3, 4, day 2, 5 to 13, 5 to last, day 3. Okay. So if you want to do this in 3 days. Now, if you are doing a 3 days Paranam, 7 days Paranam or during Navratri, on the list of Stotras that I told you, every day would it be possible to chant? So, if not every day, at least on the first and last day, you can do. So, Argala Stotram, Kitaka Stotram, all those Stotras, then that day, maybe one chapter, two chapter, whatever you chant, then you conclude with the remaining Stotras that are there. That is not possible. You just chant two shlokas, anything in praise of the Goddess. Sarva Mangala Mangalye Shire Sarva Artisadike Sharan Netrambake Gauri Nara Yaninamostute Start. That is two chapters you start. You conclude with Kshama Prathana and the Siddhi Kunjika Stotram. Siddhi Kunjika Stotram is like a Palashruti. So therefore, it is chanted every day. But on the first day and last day of the Parana, be it three days, be it seven days or ten days, whatever it is, you have to chant all the list of Stotrams. First day compulsory, last day compulsory. In between, you can see if convenient. 3 days is done, next 7 days. 7 days if you do a Paranam, day 1, chapter 1. Day 1, chapter 1. Day 2, day 2, chapters 2 and 3. Day 2, chapters 2 and 3. Day 3, chapter 4. Day 3, chapter 4. Day 4, 5 to 8. Day 4, 5 to 8. Day 5, day 5, 9 and 10. Day 5, 9, 10. Day 6, day 6, 11. Day 6, 11. And day 7, 12 and 30. Day 7, 12 and 30. Day 1, 1. Day 2, 2, 3. Day 3, 4. Day 4, 5 to 8. Day 5, 9, 10. Day 6, 11. Day 7, 12 and 13. And of course, Kshama Pratha. This is 7 days. Now, during Navratri, how you can do? We calculate for 9 days. Now, when I say na, any Paranam that you do, not only Devi Mahatmyam, it should be done from day 1 till the ninth day. So, on the Vijay Dashmi day, tenth day, though we celebrate Dasera, Paranam should not end on that day, it should end on Navami day. So, day one, chapter one, during Navratri, how you do? So, on the Pratipada, chapter one, first day, chapter one. Second day, Dvitiya, two, three, four. Day two, two, three, four. This is during Navratri. Day one, one. Day two, two, three, four. Day 3, day 3, 5, 6. Day 3, 5 and 6. Day 4, 7. Day 4, 7. Day 5, 8. Day 5, 8. Day 6, day 6, 9 and 10. Day 6, 9 and 10. Day 7, 11. Day 8, 12. Day 7, 11. Day 8, 12. Ninth day, Navami, last chapter. 13th chapter and Kshamaprath. Now, Navami day, 13th chapter and Kshamaprath. 
so this is during navratri now some people have a practice of chanting doing the entire paranam for all the nine days so every every day they chant all the 13 chapters all this you can do yatha shakti no problem okay but at least this way or the first night for hmm Uh, yeah, first day and the last day you have to chant all the stotras. If not possible, every day you just chant the Sarva Mangala and start for that day. You conclude with the Arati. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. No problem. Uh, what you are saying, Meena ji? Yes, that is correct. Right, right. That is also correct. Yes. Yes. Last day. Yes, no problem. So every day. Not every day. That is fine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, now Nevidya, yes. Uh, Sundari ji, as you said, you have got the seven days that sadhana, right? That also you can do. You can follow that. No problem. So those for Devi Matpim, especially if someone has got the Diksha, sadhana and so on, you can follow as you're doing. This is in general how people follow. Uh, like Meena ji said, you can also do that. Argala Sotram, Kilaka Sotram, you chant every day and then you take up the Paranam and all those extra Sotras you do on the last day, that is also fine. Or... Argala Sotam, the entire list I told you, do it on the first day and the last day. In between, you can do as convenient. So, all such things, little, you can decide as you want. First day, last day, we have to do it fully. This you remember. Remaining everything, you can do as convenient. No problem. Now, if... I told you, I told you. I will share on the group. Don't worry. Yeah. I'll share on the group. I'm also audio recording. So, you can note it down. Yeah. Now, with regards to Devi Mahatmyam, Nevidyam is nothing specific because anything that you offer to the goddess, because usually during uh, Devi Mahatmyam Paranam is done during Navratri. So, Navratri, anyways, we prepare some of the other Nevidyam, sweet dish or anything that you have. Any Nevidyam is fine for the goddess. But you can offer pomegranate because she likes. For the goddess, pomegranate is very uh, auspicious if you offer. And any kind of rice variety. Gooseberry, yes, gooseberry, amla. Now that again, that depends on how you use it. So you should not prepare pickles or so out of <laughs> that. Something is told that way. You have, you have to eat it raw. So if you like gooseberry, it is fine. But at least for namesake also one or so, you can offer. No problem. So mainly pomegranate, any kind of rice variety or the different chundal that you prepare or sweet dish like shira, I told you. Shira and black chana, you can use that. So anything like that or even puri and the black chana sabji we prepare, that is also fine. So, nothing specific for Devi Matram. You can offer anything of your choice. Now, every day if you do the Paranams, every day you cannot offer something. Like three days, seven days. First day, last day, you can prepare something. Every day, maybe you just keep one banana. Normal, you show Nevidyam. Maybe in a glass, you keep water or boiled milk, something like that. So, something which is there in our houses, you can do. Maybe on the first day or the last day or on both days. First and last day, you can prepare something special. That is, maybe a rice variety or some sweet dish, something like that. Okay, so this was for Devi Mahatmya. Now, Devi Mahatmya I told you and I also told you Gita. Now, next, start, let's start with Ramayana. Now, Valmiki Ramayana. Ramayana. Hmm. Uh, Devi Mahatmya. do it on first day second day onwards you just chant that day's chapters that's enough last day you can conclude no problem yeah that is last day first day and last day. no first day and last day you have to repeat it the entire thing so maybe now yes yes every day kshama pratana as for kshama pratana just takes two minutes it will not take much time just seven or eight shlokas that's it now for those, like she said, it's working also. Now maybe this day, luckily, Navratri starts on a Sunday. 
but you might not have the holiday on the ninth day on the navami you might not have a holiday right i think it will come in between but the sera holiday everyone will have so in that case you conclude the paranam on the sera it is okay conclude in the sense what i mean is the last chapter 13th chapter kshama prarthana you chant on navami but maybe the entire list of stotras what you do you can chant that on a vijayadashmi no problem so for working people or in case something like that it is not convenient you can do it what is more important is we do it so therefore now we can start on navratri it is no excuse at all because it's a sunday so everyone can do it last day little in case on a ninth day now we might not really on few places puja holidays or so are there but again for working people it doesn't matter but the sera vijayadashmi surely everyone will have a holiday at least in india so then what you can do it on that day maybe on the ninth day but you have to conclude 13th chapter should be told on the ninth day and the entire rest of stotras if not convenient on navmi you can do it on a dasera day no problem okay now for devi mahatmyam those who are aware now if you are chanting devi mahatmyam it is but obvious that you should know lalita sasanama lalita trishati something in praise of goddess lalita basic lalita sasanama so at least on day 1 on day 1 you already have a lot to chant so if you cannot maybe the previous day that is on october 14th only that is amavasya this year it is amavasya so on that day you can chant lalita sasanama the previous day or on any one day of navratri now usually navratri time many of us we chant it every day but devi mahatmyam specifically for like when you are chanting it lalita sasanama like for narayanam gita and so we had vishnu sasanama gita parayanam and so on like that for devi mahatmyam we have lalita sasanama lalita trishati so whatever you know anything in praise of the goddess mahalakshmi ashtakam durga stotram anything whatever you know you can chant during these nine periods nine days now again when should devi mahatmyam devi mahatmyam parayanam again you can do it in the morning if not convenient in the morning you can also do it in the evening for devi worship can be done even in the evening do it in the morning well and good if you cannot then you do it in the evening but now uh, no one little i'll do in the morning let it's just one or two chapters right so that you need not do it a little morning little evening let's not make it that way you stick one time morning you any how it is not possible you do it in the evening but you complete it fully so this is let's not you should not divide it half half no anyways you're chanting just two chapters right so one two half one i'll chant in the morning two in the evening it should not be done that way you sit for a paranam to complete it fully and then you get up okay now let's uh, now yeah. yes no problem. yes that you can yeah now uh, let's start next with uh, valk uh, now No, no, no problem. You can put the record. You can listen to the audio. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah. Devi Mahatma and Durga Saptashit. Same. Yeah. One and the same. 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 I will put it on the group. Yeah. I am recording all this. So you can listen as you want, and I'll also put it later. Okay. Now let's start next with one Miki Ramayana. Ramayana, Sundara Kanda, both I will tell you. Now Ramayana, I don't know. Bhagavata, I don't know. Such things can happen, but at least we should know. Maybe in future you learn it or you listen to it, you can do the Parayana. At least we should know how the Parayana is done. Ah, uh, audios now generally you search on YouTube, you will get. I have few audios in my own voice. I will share that for Devi Mahatmya or so Devi Mahatmya Narayanam. I will share that so you can listen to. It. Okay, next we uh, start with Valmiki Ramayana. First we start. Now, Ramayana, just as I told you for Narayanam, here you have to keep an idol of Lord Rama. Now, usually Ramayana Paranam is done for nine days. Navaha, as we say, that is nine days you do. Now, nine days when you are chanting, obviously you have to keep the Rama, Rama's idol down. Rama's idol when you keep down, Now, whenever you have Rama's idol, it will not be separate. You have Ram, Sita, Lakshman, and Hanuma. So this is idol which is preferable. Or the Patta Bishak Rama idol you have. Most of us have that image in our houses. You keep that. In the case of Rama, we might not have a Vigraha. Like for Krishna, most of us sometimes we have the Krishna Vigraha, right? So this might not be there. So you keep an idol as usual. Now Valmiki Rama in a book, you have to keep it there. In the puja place, again you offer flowers every day. For Rama also, you can offer tulsi mala, flower garland, anything of your choice, no problem. Same thing, same practices followed. Nevidyam now, 
as usual you start with dhyanam for ramayanam you have a dhyanam for itself sundarakandam dhyanam is different it is little different a few shlokas are extra in ramayanam dhyanam that's it now here it is simple some people take a sankalpa or you just start directly with dhyanam that day's adhyayas now here what happens is you don't have a lot of stotras or so to be chanted before and after why because the text itself is big ramayanam is 24000 shlokas you have to complete in 9 days you have to do the parayanam alone but there are different ways in which it is done nine is something which is common but some people do it in say a month or so or you can do as convenient you maybe chant every day two chapters it will take a lot of time but you can do it no problem so see whenever you take up a parayanam always remember now if you do it things in a navaham form that is in nine days or maybe the bhagavatam you do it in seven days it will take almost 4 5 hours of your day now of course you can divide this and do for ramayanam bhagavatam and so on you don't have time specific you can do it in the morning a little in the afternoon in the evening this also people do usually if you have attended some navaham saptaham you will know this why so because the matter is big right we cannot sit in one go and do but little now when you have a navaham or some saptaham you do it in a proper samajama public place they will follow them so in a group or so we follow but at home little you might have someone comes and calls you or you yourself have some work to do at home little to follow such things it becomes difficult so here little we'll know the navaham uh, method but there are also few things which you can follow as convenient so maybe let's not keep it nine days maybe you can do it in one month there's no problem in that so you divide it and maybe in uh, i this is my suggestion ramayanam and bhagavatam you don't keep something which is very specific that is no so many adhyayas have to chant today you can decide the time maybe day maybe every day half an hour i will chant so how much ever you can cover in half an hour half an hour 15 minutes 45 minutes one hour how much ever you can dedicate or maybe morning half an hour evening half an hour this way also you can do there is no problem so for ramayanam and bhagavatam you maybe need not decide the number of chapters if that is not possible you can decide the time half an hour in the morning half an hour in the evening or just half an hour every day how much ever you cover because all the chapters are not equal some will be big some will be small then for us those who are not familiar with the text it will take some time you have to open it you have to read it so that too might happen so here what you can do is little you can decide as convenient maybe you can stick to time how much of a time you can dedicate to ensure that the same time you dedicate every day so if every day you decide half an hour you can do it for half an hour okay so now uh, first as usual you keep the rama vigraha or the vishnu vigraha whatever it is those who have the parampara of you have the shaligrama saligrama puja at your places you can keep the Shaligrama Vigraham also. Then Hanuman's idol should also be there. If not separately, if the Patavishaka Rama image you have, that itself you can keep, that is fine. Now, in some places, what they do is, they have a tradition of keeping the Kumbham. Kumbham is during Navratri, most of us we keep, right? The Kalash with the coconut. The same thing is Kumbham. So that also they do for Sriman Bhagavatam and Ramana Paranams. This now you can decide if you want to do. Otherwise, you can just keep the idol and the book. Next, the first Nevidya that you offer on day one for both Bhagavatam and Ramanam is boiled milk with sugar. Little bit sugar you can put, but if you like, you can put more. This is the basic Nevidya when you have to start a Paranam for both Ramanam and Bhagavatam. Boiled milk with sugar. Again, it should be lukewarm, not very hot. Then, normal flowers you offer. If you have, you know the Sankalpa, you can chat the Sankalpa. Then, any Stotras in praise of Lord Rama. So, Rama Stotram, Sita Stotram. Now, all this might be there in the Ramayana books only. So, whatever is there in your books, you can chant that, no problem. Or anything in praise of Rama, if nothing, Vishnu Sasarnama, you can start. Then, Shri Rama Rama Rame Ti Rame Rame Manu Rame Sahasranama Tatulyam Rama Nama Varanane. This shloka from the Vishnu Sasarnama, you chant it thrice. Then, Rama Gayatri, Dasharataya Vitmahe, Sita Vallabhaya Dhimahe, Tanno Rama Prachodaya At, Anjaneya Gayatri, Anjaneya Vitmahe, Vayuputraya Dhimahe, Tanno Hanumat Prachodaya At. Then, similar to Narayanam, you chant the Narayana Kavacham from Srimad Bhagavad. Now, all this is like some do it, some don't do it. So maybe on day one, you can do all this day one and the last day. In between, you just start with the dhyana.
then you also chant the Shadakshari Mantra for uh, Rama and Parana. What is Shadakshari Mantra? Rama, Ramaya, Namaha. Rama, Ramaya, Namaha. Shadakshari. Rama, Ramaya, Namaha. This mantra is chanted. Then you start. How much ever you want? Maybe three times. Three times basic. Now next you start with the Parayana. Now for 9 days, how you do the Parayana, I will tell you. Day 1. Day 1 Balakandam. Entire Balakandam you chant. Day 1 Balakandam. Day 1 Balakandam. That is from 1 to 77. 1 to 77. Now, when you do the Ramayanam, there are two things. Some people will chant the Uttarakandam. Some people will end it with the Yuddhakandam. But Uttarakandam is also very much part of the Ramayana. There is a bit of confusion here. So, therefore, I will tell you the method wherein we chant till the Uttarakandam. But when you do the Paranam, sometimes people will end it with the Pattabhishega Sarga. Rama Pattabhishegam, last chapter of Yuddhakandam. But that should not be done. You have the story later too. Of course, there are some con con conflicts there. It is not a part of Ramayana or it is written quite later and so on. Let's not get into all that. Talks about the story of Rama, Sita and their children. So, we will consider it a part of it. So, day one, you start with Balakanda. Now, I will do one thing for Ramayana that is there. I will just tell you quickly, you note it down. But apart from that, little. If the, For nine days, I will tell you. You can also do it in 32 days also. Now, 32 days is how Lava and Kusha chanted it for Rama. So, that's how, uh, that is a method of 32 days. Now, 32 days to tell and for all of you to note might be difficult. So, I will share that on the group. You can note it down. So, for 9 days you note down. First day, entire Bala Kandam and you also add first 6 Sargas of Ayodhya Kandam. So, day 1, full Bala Kandam plus 6 Sargas of Ayodhya Kandam. So, in all 83 Sargas. 83 Sargas. Day 2, Ayodhya Kandam, Sargam 7, 7th Sarga, Ayodhya Kanda 7 to 80, 8080. Day 2, Ayodhya Kanda 7 to 80, 8080. Day 3, Ayodhya Kandam 81, Ayodhya Kandam 81 till Aranya Kanda Sarga 20. Day 3. Ayodhya Kanda Sargam 81 till Aranya Kanda Sarga 20. 2020. Day 4. Day 4. Aranya Kanda 21 till Kishkinda Kandam 46. Aranya Kanda 21 till Kishkinda Kandam 46. Day 5. Now for Kishkinda Kandam and all, if you are noting it down, you can just write KK or maybe just Kish, some short form you can. Day 5, Kishkinda Kandam 47 till Sundara Kandam 47. Now whenever you start with Sundara Kandam, whatever you know in praise of Hanuman, Hanuman Ashtotram, Hanuman Chalisa or whatever you know in praise of Lord Hanuman that you can uh, chant the Nevidyam on this day, especially day 5 and day 6 when you have the Sundara Kandam Paranam. Uh, you can offer the uh, betel leaf mala, that is the vetla mala that we offer for Lord Hanuman. Uh, then curd rice, nevidyam, bananas, all this also can be done. So day 5, Kishkinda Kandam 47 to Sundara Kandam 47. Day 6. Day 6. Sundara Kandam 46. Sorry, Sundara Kandam 48. Day 6, Sundara Kandam 48. Till Yuddha Kandam 50, 5050. Sundara Kandam 48 till Yuddha Kandam 50, 5050. Day 7. Yuddha Kandam 51 till Yuddha Kandam 99. Yuddha Kandam 51 till Yuddha Kandam 99. Day 8. 
युद्धकांडम हंड्रेड टिल उत्तर कांडम थर्टी सिक्स इयर द सर्गस मैट बी क्वाइट स्मॉल युद्ध कांडम हंड्रेड टिल उत्तर कांडम थर्टी सिक्स दिस इज डे एट एंड द लास्ट डे द रिमेनिंग सर्गस सो उत्तर कांडम सर्ग थर्टी सेवन टिल वन 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 हंड्रेड एंड लेवन सो उत्तर कांडम इज क्वाइट बिग उत्तर कांडम सर्ग थर्टी सेवन टिल हंड्रेड एंड लेवन This is for nine days. Okay, I'll just quickly repeat it. Day one, Bala Kandam one to Ayodhya Kandam six. Day two, Ayodhya Kandam seven to eighty eight zero eighty. Day three, Ayodhya Kandam eighty one to Aranya Kandam twenty. Day four, Aranya Kandam twenty one to Kishkinda Kandam forty six. Day five, Kishkinda Kandam forty seven to Sundara Kandam forty seven. Day six, Sundara Kandam forty eight to Yuddha Kandam fifty five zero fifty. Day seven, Yuddha Kandam fifty one to Yuddha Kandam ninety nine. Day eight, Yuddha Kandam hundred to Uttara Kandam thirty six. Day nine, Uttara Kandam thirty seven till end that is hundred and eleven. So this is how you do it in nine days. Now. On the day eight, on day eight, when you have the Patta Abhishek Sarga, Patta Abhishek Sarga is nothing but uh, the last chapter of Yuddha Kandam. On that day, again the Navidyam will be full meals. So again you offer. Again it should be free from onions and garlic. Full meals, rice, dal, sabji, whatever it is, and also a sweet dish. That is also the Navidyam. Now like this, Paranam can be done for thirty-two days. That might be feasible for most of us. So that I will later share on the group. Instead of telling it orally, I will share on the group. This is also done for thirty two days. Next, this was for Rama. Now you wrote it down for Sundara Kandam specifically. Now Sundara Kandam again, you can do it in two days. Two days Paranam. How it is done is half half. So sixty eight sargas are there in all in Sundara Kandam. So thirty four, thirty four, you do it, or thirty five, and next you continue. This is something. Which we commonly follow. If you have to do it in two days, now when is Sundara Kanda Paranam done, or when is this Ramana Paranam done? Usually before Ram Navmi. Many people do it also during this Navratri time. That is on Vijaya Dashmi day, Rama comes back. So till then, people try to complete the Patta Abhishek Sarga. You complete on the last day. But now you have to see. You have to do Devi Mahatmya also. I have to do this also. So a little you can decide. So Ramana maybe if not entirely on the Vijaya Dashmi day without fail, you can chant the. पट्टा विषय का सरगा लास्ट सरगा ऑफ युद्ध कांड। ओके, नाउ कमिंग बैक। सो दिस सुंदर कांडम इज वन सेकंड सो वी स्टॉप। या। सो नाउ जस्ट नोट डाउन हाउ यू डू द सुंदर कांडम। एवरीथिंग इज सेम, सेम बे। यू कीप रामा। नाउ मैंने वर यू डू फॉर हनुमान। इट्स नॉट ओनली हनुमान सिमेज। ऑफ कोर्स यू हैव ट� Beetle leaves, you keep so that is proper tambulam. Also, you can keep the kumbha if possible. Then a garland. If you have a separate picture of Hanuman and Rama, put it separately. One picture only you can put it to that. Tulsi, lotus, anything, whatever you have. Then dhupam, dhipam, nevidyam, banana, skirt, rice, fruits, boiled milk with sugar. So especially for Rama, uh, Hanuman, and for Bhagavatam, this is done. Boiled milk with sugar. You are also the same way, Rama Gayatri, Dasharatha Ayavidmahe, Anjaneya Gayatri, Dhyana Shlokam, Sundra Kandam, it is quite same, few shlokas are less. I will share what I have. Then, you, a few stotras that are chanted for Sundra Kandam is, Samkshepa Ramanam. Now, all this can be chanted after you complete Sundra Kandam. Or, no, I will tell you the proper order. Now first you start with the, you do all this puja and everything. Then you start with the paran. Now always remember some people we might have the sundra kanda book separately, but still when you keep the book for offering you have to keep both the ramayana book as well as the sundra kanda book. If you are reading sundra kanda from the ramayana book well and good, but if you have a separate book and and if you are doing only sundra kanda paran, still you have to keep both books. Maybe the ramayana book you will not open, but for worship at least on day one you can keep it. You offer flowers. Okay, now how Sundra Kanda Paranam should be done? First is you chant Samkshepa Ramanam. Samkshepa Ramanam is nothing but 
பாலகாண்டம் சர்காவன் பாலகாண்டம் சர்காவன் திஸ் இன் ஷார்ட் ஹண்ட்ரட் வேர்சஸ் டாக்ஸ் அபவுட் என்டா ராமாயணம் சம்க்ஷேப ராமாயணம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இஸ் தியான ஸ்லோ யூ டூ த நார்மல் பூஜா தியான ஸ்லோகாஸ் தென் இஃப் பாசிபிள் நாராயண கவச்சம் தென் திஸ் சங்க்ஷேப ராமாயணம் பாலகாண்டம் சர்காவன் ஆஃப்டர் தேட் ராம ஜனனம் பர்த் ஆஃப் ராமா பாலகாண்டம் சர்கா எயிட்டி பாலகாண்டம் சர்கா எயிட்டி ராம ஜனனம் நெக்ஸ்ட் சீதாவ விவாகம் ராம சீதா விவாகம் சர்கா செவன்டி த்ரீ பாலகாண்டம் சர்கா செவன்டி த்ரீ பாலகாண்டம் நெக்ஸ்ட் சம்பூர்ண சுந்தரகாண்டம் ஆல் தி சிக்ஸ்டி எயிட் சர்காஸ் யூ கேன் டிசைட் ஹவு யூ வாண்ட் டூ ஐ டெல் யூ அஃபியூ வேஸ் இன் விச் யூ கேன் சாண்ட் இட் ஆல்சோ how the parayanam can be done if you are doing it in one day you can note down so first is the normal puja you do you start with dhyanam narayana kavacham if possible or directly you start with samkshepa ramayanam rama jananam sita vivaham then entire sundara kandam after the 68 sarga last sarga of sundara kandam is done we chant rama pattabhishek that is last chapter of yuddha kanda rama pattabhishek ராமபட்டாபிஷேகம் yeah so uh, what i was uh, telling is it should be in the same order so basically the entire gist of ramayana then the birth of rama then the marriage of rama then finally sundarakandam and last after 68 sargas last sarga of sundarakandam you chant rama pattabhishekam that is last sarga of yuddha kandam that is rama pattabhishekam and next the samapana shloka that is swasti prajabya swasti shlokas lastly you conclude with aarti ramayana and sundarakanda aarti is one and the same so those who know samarthi you can chant those who don't know normally you can show deepam and nevidyam nevidyam again i told you curd rice bananas fruits anything of your choice now apart from this a few stotras that you chant this whatever you know in praise of rama and hanuma so rama stotram rama pancharatnam hanuman chalisa hanuman kavacham hanuman bhujangam anything whatever you know any stotras that you know you can chant lastly again now fruits are very very important because lord hanuman likes fruits and curd rice so that is something which is uh, very very important then once you finish ramayanam and or sundarakandam any one parayanam it is a tradition to give in donation so what you give in donation not only wealth for married couple you give clothes also so some clothes and some accessories anything you want you give so along with tambulam some clothes and some gift items all to small kids you can give something girls boys anyone or something is usually given or uh, maybe you go to the temple and do some offerings that is also fine so anything like this we do usually after ramayanam and sundarakand okay so then with this you can uh, conclude now sundarakand i'll tell you the parayan how you can do now sundarakand parayan when should i do it as far as possible it should be done only in the morning it should not go in the evening at all so it is possible to do in the morning you first do that in the morning like i told you in case you don't have any option also then you can go to evening but that should be like the last option okay now the most common way of parayanam is you do it in one day all the sargas all the 68 sargas this is one day two days parayanam half half 1 to 36 and 37 to 68 second day 1 to 36 one day next day 37 to 68 three days parana now this i am telling you only for sundarakand three days parana day 1 1 to 27 day 1 1 to 27 day 2 28 to 40 40 40 28 to 40 and the last day 41 to 68 41 to 68 this is 3 days para 4 days 4 or 5 days 
5 days how you do? Day 1, 1 to 15. 1 to 15. Day 2, 16 to 27. 16 to 27. Day 3, 28 to 38. 28 to 38. Day 4, 39 to 54. 39 to 54. Day 5, 55 to 68. Day 5, 55 to 68. This is in Fridays. Now for 7 days also I will tell you. 7 days, day 1, 1 to 5. 1 to 5. Day 2, 6 to 16. Day 2, 6 to 16. 1, 6, 16. Day 3, 17 to 27. 17 to 27. Day 4, 28 to 35. 28 to 35. Day 5, 36 to 42. 36 to 42. Day 6, 43 to 54. 43 to 54. And the last day, 55 to 68. 55 to 68. Always remember on the last day, you have to chant the Ramapata Abhishekam. Without that, Sundara Kanda Paranam is incomplete. Okay, so this is for 7 days. So 3 days, 5 days, 7 days. As convenient, you can do. But apart from that, some people also do it in 28 days or so. So 28 days or 22 days, that is nothing but every day you chant 2-2 Sargas, 3-3 three, three Sargas, something like that. You equally you divide it and you do. That is also fine. Okay, now when can you start with Sundara Kanda Paranam? It is, you start, maybe on a Saturday you start. You can again end it on next Saturday or Friday, something like that. Uh, Sundara Kanda Paranam, as far as possible, you can start on a Saturday. That is auspicious for Lord Rama, Ramayanam as well as Sundara Kanda. So it depends. As convenient you can do, but Saturday is quite auspicious. Okay. Now the list of uh, Navidyams also I told you. Now, Mostly sweets also are offered for Rama. So basically birth of Rama or important chapters like this like birth of Rama, the Vivaha of Rama and so on. At those times you can offer this uh, sweet varieties, any sweet of your choice, fruits, rice varieties and so on. So same as uh, Narayanam that we did. So whenever there is something auspicious you do this. Okay. So this was with regards to Ramayanam and Sundarakan. Okay, now I'll tell you uh, maybe some important uh, chapters from Ramayanam and uh, you can say entire Sundra Kanda. So entire Ramayanam if you want you can just note it down. First is, so in case, now why, why about 10 Sargas, 10 chapters I'll tell you. Why this is, so maybe it is not possible to chant entire Ramayanam, entire Sundra Kanda, but still I want to chant something important. So during Navratri maybe you can take this up. So I'll tell you for that. Ramavataram. Balakandam Sarga 18, Panet 18, Balakandam Sarga 18, Ramavataram Birth of Rama. Next, Rama Sita Vivaham, Balakandam Sarga 73, Balakandam Sarga 73, Rama Sita Vivaham. Next, Paduka Patabhishekam. Ayodhya Kandam Sarga 115. Ayodhya Kandam Sarga 115. I'm telling you the name of the chapter also. Sometimes what happens is, little, depending on the publication that we refer, maybe the numbering, if I say 115, maybe in your books it might be 114, 116. It might happen. It's very rare, but it does happen. So therefore, you can note down the name of the chapter. Paduka Pattabhishegam Ayodhya Kandam Sarga 115. Next, Jatayu Moksham. Aranya Kandam Sarga 68. Jatayu Moksham Aranya Kandam Sarga 68. Sarga 68. 
Next, Sugriva Patabhishegam, that is coronation of Sugriva. Kishkinda Kandam, Sarga 26. Sugriva Patabhishegam. Kishkinda Kandam, Sarga 26. Next, Hanuman, crossing the ocean. Sagara Langanam. Sundara Kandam, Sarga 1. Sundara Kandam, Sarga 1. Next, Anguliya Pradhan. Hanuman giving Lord Rama's ring to Sita. Sundara Kandam, Sarga 65. Sundara Kandam, Sarga 65. Anguliya Pradhanam. Next, Vibhishana Sharanagati. Vibhishana Sharanagati. Yuddha Kandam, Sarga 19. Yuddha Kandam, Sarga 19. 1919. Vibhishana Sharanagati. Next, Vibhishana Pattabhishita. Coronation of Vibhishana. Yuddha Kandam, Sarga 115. 115. Vibhishana Pattabhishita. Yuddha Kandam 115. And last, Rama Pattabhishekam, last Sarga of Yuddha Kandam. So Yuddha Kandam 131. Rama Pattabhishekam. Rama Pattabhishekam. Now these 10 Sargas that are there on important occasions or so, what happened? Okay. So. You can hear me? Vibhishana Patta Vishega Sarga 115. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, no. This All this I am telling is from Valmiki Ramana. So, people you are, if you are referring to Ram Charitamanas, the numbers will be totally different. Okay, so make a note of this. All this is from Valmiki Ramana. Make a note of this. Yeah. The chapters maybe, that's the reason I told you, you can note down the chapters. But there in uh, Ram Charitamanas also there the topics and the chopia that you have the verses also are different. So that will be different. Now these 10 sargas what you can do is maybe as I told you in important occasions or Ram Nomi something like that or especially during Navratri you can chant all these chapters in praise of Rama. So important occasions important chapters from the Ramayana. This where it is told I have not made this it has been mentioned by it is it has been mentioned in the Skanda Purana. In the Skanda Purana it is mentioned. In, I think it is in chapter 1, about uh, 50, 60 shlokas. Between 50 to 55, I think it comes. Uh, Ramayana Mahatmya. In Skanda Purana, you have a topic. Ramayana Mahatmya, I think it comes in Adhyayam 1, between shlokas 50 to 55. There, it is mentioned that these, tea, these 10 uh, sargas can be chanted. I'll just quickly repeat. Ramavataram, Sita Vivaham, Paduka Pattabhishekam, Jatayu Moksham, Sugriva Pattabhishekam, Sagara Langana, Hanuman crossing the ocean, Anguliya Pradhanam, Vibhishana Sharanagati, Vibhishana Pattabhishekam, Rama Pattabhishekam. I have recorded it, I will share the recording, in case you miss out, you can note it down. Okay, so with this we complete Ramayana. Now I will tell you about Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the last topic for today, most probably. Okay. Now as usual, now mostly whatever we saw for Narayaniam, same is done for Bhagavatam also. So again you have the idea of Lord Krishna Kip. You keep the Bhagavatam book now. You offer flowers, same Tulsi Mala, garland. The Nevidyams are also quite same. Now, seven days Paranam, Bhagavata Saptaha. That is the most common way of doing it. Now, here, what are the shlokas that you chant before? Obviously, it has to be Bhagavata Dhyana shlokas are different. Bhagavata Dhyana shloka, Vishnu Sasarnama, Narayana Kavacham. It is a part of Srimad Bhagavatam only. Narayana Kavacham. This is done. So these three shlokas are chanted every day. And then you chant that day's chapters conclude with the Arati. On the first and last day, you can chant Vishnu Sasanama and the Narayana Kavacham also, if not possible every day. But every day, Dhyanam, that day's chapters and Arati. This is, you can keep this as a standard thing. Whatever you chant, Dhyanam, that is whatever Paranam chapters, Sargas. In the case of the Gita, you also have the Mahatmyam. In other cases, it will be Arati. Now for certain things, if you don't know Arti, you can sing any Arti that you know. Uh, most people will be aware of Jai Jagadish Hari. Nothing like that. You can just chant any prayers that you know and show the Arti. Okay. Now for seven days, just uh, note down how the Paranam is done. Now on the last day, 
uh, what you can do is you can also chant the Gita. Gita now all the 18 chapters are chanted on the last day. If not 18, you can at least chant 15 chapter, 12th chapter and so on. So such things are also done. Okay, now day one. Day one, rather than saying day one, let's consider day. If tomorrow onwards, if you start the Paranam, today, what you do is, today you chant Bhagavata Mahatmyam. Bhagavata Mahatmyam. It is from Padma Purana. In most of the Srimad Bhagavatam books, it will already be mentioned. So, Bhagavata Mahatmyam from Padma Puranam. It is six chapters. So, that you, you have to chant it on the previous day. You have to chant it on the previous day. So, Bhagavata Mahatmyam from Padma Puranam. Adhyaya 1 to 6. All the six chapters. On that day evening also you can chant. Bhagavatam, now the content is big, so morning, evening you can do. If not possible, you can, like it's better if you can spread out. So seven days usually Srimad Bhagavatam we do, but seven days you cannot take up the Paranam. Then you can divide it as you want. As I told you for Ramayana and Bhagavatam, you can keep it in every day half an hour or so you can dedicate, no problem. Okay, so day one, Skanda one, Skanda one, chapter one, till skanda 3 now in ramana you have kandas bala kandam ayodhya kandam kishkinda kandam here it is skanda one skanda in all there are 12 skandas so day 1 skanda 1 adhyayam 1 chapter 1 till skanda 3 chapter 22 skanda 3 chapter 22 day 2 skanda 3 chapter 3 Skanda 3, Chapter 3. Sorry, sorry. 22. 22. Sorry. My, my mistake. My mistake. Day 3. Skanda 3, Chapter 23. 23. 22. Day 3, Day 2. Sorry. I'll tell from beginning. It's confusing. Day 1, Skanda 1, Chapter 1 to Skanda 3, Chapter 22. Day 2, Skanda 3, Chapter 23. Till Skanda 5, Chapter 14, 1, 4, 14. Day 2, Skanda 3, Chapter 23 to Skanda 5, Chapter 14. Day 3, Skanda 5, Chapter 15, 1, 5, 15. Skanda 5, Chapter 15 till 7th Skanda. So you end 7th Skanda on Day 3. So, 7 Skanda ends that is Narasim Avatara. You start with Skanda 5, Chapter 15. You end Skanda 7 on Day 3. Day 4, Skanda 8. You start with Skanda 8 till Skanda 10, Chapter 3. That is till birth of Krishna, Krishna Janana. Day 4, Skanda 8 till Skanda 10, Chapter 3. Day 5. Skanda 10 chapter 4 till Skanda 10 chapter 54. Rukmani Kalyana. Skanda 10 chapter 4 till Skanda 10 chapter 54. Day 6. Skanda 10 chapter 55 to Skanda 11 chapter 13. 1, 3, 13. Day 6. Skanda 10 chapter 55. To Skanda 11, Chapter 13. And the last day, Skanda 11, Chapter 14, till end of Skanda 12. Skanda 11, Chapter 14, till end of Skanda 12. Okay, so this is practiced. Yes, I will record it. Previous day, Bhagavata Mahatmyam has to be chanted. Always remember, without chanting the Mahatmyam, the Paranam is incomplete. So, you have to always chant the Mahatmyam. Day 1, Skanda 1, Chapter 1 to Skanda 3, Chapter 22. Day 2, Skanda 3, Chapter 23 to Skanda 5, Chapter 14. Day 3, Skanda 5, Chapter 15 to Skanda 7, Chapter 15. That's you end Skanda 7. Day 4, Skanda 8, Chapter 1 to Skanda 10, Chapter 3. Day 5, Skanda 10, Chapter 4 to Skanda 10, Chapter 54. Day 6, Skanda 10, Chapter 55 to Skanda 11, Chapter 13. 
and the last day skanda 11 chapter 14 to end that is you end skanda 12 on this day now on each of these days you can do some nevidyam that is especially on the last day it should be full meals again and then on all other days fruit varieties sweets nuts anything can be offered no problem so as you want yathashakti you can offer okay now what you do is sometimes you can the same thing what i whatever i have told you some people do it in 14 days that is you do it double of this that the double is the time that takes is double now how you can do this if you want to do it double double for that i will tell you the chapters like i told you for uh, ramayanam i will post this on the group i give noted down for more number of days it becomes difficult so shrimad bhagavatam can be done in 14 days it can also be done in 48 days so for that what uh, you can do i will just uh, tell you some people also do it in one month that is also one way of doing it so all this i will post on the group i'll write it down and post it so that it becomes easy for you most common way seven days seven days but little if it is difficult you can do it in 12 days or a month or so so i'll just tell you the chapters later i'll post it on the group you can note it down from there okay and this recording also that is there i'll put it on youtube so in the video description i will uh, write it so you can check that okay now with this shrimad bhagavatam comes to an end Bhagavata Dhyana, Dhyana Shlokas, Bhagavata, Dhyana Shlokas, Dhyana Shlokas, okay, okay, now little time is there, I'll tell you something more, okay, I'll tell you for something about Saundari Lahari, Saundari Lahari, few of you might be familiar, I've just written it, so you can just note it down, Saundari Lahari now is just 100 Shlokas, 100 verses, so half an hour, 45 minutes, it will get over, half an hour you can consider, and every Tuesday, Friday, you can do the Parana. But still, if you want to do it in one week, again during Navratri or so, you can do it. If not every day, you can do maybe a few shlokas. Some people have a habit of chanting one shloka one day. That is also fine. Two shlokas, five shlokas. But how you can do it in? Uh, you can consider in uh, what to tell. Now, there are some important shlokas that are chanting. So, I'll just tell you, not in seven days specifically. So, seven days, how you do it is you have to divide it divide so 100 roughly if you divide by uh, 7 it will be close to you can consider about uh, 10 12 shlokas 12 to 13 shlokas that is one way of doing it but there are certain important shloka numbers that are mentioned which you can chant so on a sunday sunday especially shlokas just note it down just note down the number 2 4 and 61 saundari lahari has got 100 shlokas in all so, on that particular day, this part, shlokas are chanted. So, on a Sunday, 2, 4, 61. 2, 4 and 61. Monday, 1, 21. 1 and 21. Sorry, on a Monday, it should be 1 and 44. Monday, 1 and 44. Tuesday, 21. Tuesday, 21. Wednesday 17. 1717. So on this particular day, this particular shloka it is chanted. It is auspicious. Traditionally, they follow it. You can chant it as you want. I'm just knowing, so I'm sharing. Thursday 3 and 11. Thursday 3 and 11. Shloka number 3 and 11. Friday 11 and 48. 11 and 48. Yes, yes, 11 is repeated. And on Saturday, 23 and 26. 23 and 26. This is for each day as you can chant. Now, a few shlokas. 48. 48. 48. 48. 48. 48. 48. One second, one second. I will, I will, I will repeat it. I will repeat it at the time you need. Sunday, 2, 4, 61. Monday, 1, 44. 1 and 44. Tuesday, 21. Wednesday, 17. Thursday, 11 and 3. Friday, 11 and 48. Saturday, 23 and 26. This is what is followed. Now, 
there are few shlokas which are chanted every day. Now what is that? Just note down the list. Every day I cannot chant 100 shlokas, so these shlokas can be chanted. 1, 1, 22, 22, 27, 1, 22, 27, 32, 33, 32, 33, 36, 36, 57, 57, 60, 6, 0, 60 and 100, last look. I repeat, these are chanted every day. So, now this doesn't mean that we stick only to shortcuts. But if every day we cannot do everything, so little such lokas are chanted. So, maybe once a month or so on every Friday or Tuesday, you can chant entirely. 1, 22, 27, 32, 33, 36, 57, 60, 100. So, these shlokas can be chanted every day. And apart from that, on each of the days, if you want to follow Sunday, Monday, that way, you can follow those respective shlokas. Nevidyam for Saundar Lahri, again, anything for the goddess, any rice variety, any sweet dish, any fruit, anything of your choice, you can prepare. Okay, so I think we have tried to cover uh, everything. So, from my side, I will stop. If anyone wants to 